So that's his brother, you know, that he was in a eight year relationship with his girlfriend, but this brother found out that she was cheating on him, that she was getting her back blown out by somebody else. So the brother being a respectable brother, a man with integrity, cut her off as every brother should cut them females off. But oh no, she couldn't just take being cut off. Let's go ahead and roll that clip. to our brother that stood his ground we salute you my brother we salute you for standing your ground uh, not listening to no excuses as you said we've been together eight years and you gonna throw this away and say you chose to do that and that's the truth she chose to do that she chose to get with this other dude she chose to lay down with this man and go be with him at this point why are you sitting up there acting a fool in that man's neighborhood why you weren't acting a fool about anything else? See, and, 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 and you women got to understand something. You know, those of you like why men make a big deal about women cheating, but men cheat. Well, let me tell you the psychology of men. When you cheat on a man, because just a natural order of things, you're letting another man dominate you. And you're willingly doing that. You're laying down with, with this man and giving yourself to him. Now, in a man's mind, you're tainted at that point. 
you're tainted because you have been, you have willingly allowed another man to dominate you in that manner. So you're no good. So you got to go. Well, men cheat all the time. Men are the, are the dominant ones. So they're going to definitely look at things a lot different. Do I agree? Do a woman, should a woman stay with a man uh, that's doing that? I don't really recommend it in a monogamous relationship. I don't. Um, but people can choose to do what they want to do. Like I said, I, there's no rule that people have to follow listening according to me. Um, I think that if you have some sort of issues and problems, you should discuss those issues and problems. I think you should um, figure out what's the issue and, and then hopefully you guys can deal with it because adding other people to a situation don't fix it. It actually makes it worse. But this brother, like I said, what I would tell him is like I say, hey, you know, I block up behind um, and, and, and move on. Let me tell you all some women, a lot of women will act crazy with you men. Um, as we just covered a story where a brother was breaking up with a female and she wanted to pour bleach on his clothes. Um, they so used to breaking up with us as men. And when men take that step and say, nah, I'm, I'm going to get rid of this situation. I'm not going to deal with this. They always act that way. Men in the comment section, let me know. Cause I know it. Trust me. I personally know how they act. Okay. Now let me tell you another thing. How would it get even worse about when you as a man, divorce them. When you say I'm done, I'm leaving. I'm not putting up with this. Nope. I'm done. Oh boy. They really start acting a fool because they feel that, see, it's okay for them to file, uh, what 80 plus percent of the divorces in America against you anytime they get good and ready. But when you see something wrong and you say, I can't be with this woman no more. Uh, this relationship is done. Oh my God. And don't let you have a child. They gonna try to say, "Oh, you abandoning your wife? You abandoning your children?" No, I'm not abandoning my children. I'm just getting rid of you because of what you did. You know what I'm saying? I'm saying, and that's what more and more men need to do is have some dignity and self respect. All that crying and all that—that's a tactic to get you to lower your defenses. When a female sits up there and cheat on you, men, all your emotions are, are cut off at that moment that you find out. Understand? So now I would never tell a man, go look for the dude, go try to fight the dude. Listen, if it, if, if it wasn't no violation that it, it, it involved a court case or something like that, just something that she chose to do. You don't fight with no other man. Understand a man's a man. You know that you, you know that be a player about it. Right. Say, okay, well, I mean, you chose to give it to him. I can get mad at another man for that. Well, one thing I can do is get rid of you and you go, uh, give, I, I'm freeing you to go be with the guy. That way you don't have to worry about, you know, sneaking around. You can just do this mess openly. You understand? And then more and more men would have a cutthroat attitude like that. And to say, Hey, you, you pull a stunt like that. If you want to matter of fact, if you getting too, if you getting too cozy with a dude, I don't like, if you disrespecting me in a way, I don't like, like Fence, you see her and she all laughing and tee hee heeing too much with another dude. And, and, and you like this, you know, you don't say nothing to her. You just, you just watch the whole thing. And say, yeah, and say, oh, so you kind of, and men, look, men know when a female flirting, well, you know, you know, when a female is, is, is giving too much time to another dude, you know, when you see it, understand what I'm saying? That's disrespecting you. You got to cut them off even for disrespect. You say, you know what? Go ahead. You know, I'm, I'm going to do something else. What you mean? Well, I saw, you know, I was kind of seeing you, the way you interacting with dude and that was disrespecting me. So, you know, I'm just not going to allow no woman to disrespect me like that. No, because you disrespect me in that manner. Then the next step is you're going to be in his bedroom. So I'm not even about to go through, go through all that mess. So let me go home and free you to go do whatever you choose to want to do. Now she is shocked that you pull a stunt like that, but you're actually helping her, um, in the future. You're helping her because next time she's like, you know what? I don't need to do that because shoot, that was disrespectful. Understand what I'm saying? Um, a lot of you brothers got to get real cutthroat. Actually, you have more leverage now today to get more cutthroat because there's a lot more of them than there are you, right? So you shouldn't try to put up with anything from these females today. Don't put up with anything from them. Cut them off. It's way too many women out here today. Way too many for you to be putting up with anything. And then especially if you get that blue passport, fellas, you really ain't got to put up with nothing because now the whole world is your oyster at that point, right? It ain't nothing for you to get on a plane and go somewhere else and you won't even be dealing with the modern American woman problem because the modern American woman problem is a modern American woman problem. Okay. You just go out the country and you'll see how 
that's just not really the issue, right? And you're not dealing with the problems. I mean, I'm not talking about what country to go to. I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying the whole world should oyster at that point. So why would you even put up with that mess? But let me know in the comments. Let me know what you think, fellas. You know, the situation with our brother here, like I said, he did the right thing. Shout out to our brother. Um, you know, I wish more and more of you brothers take this kind of stand and you can get these, these little modern females in line.